Phyllis and Jody. Mornings on U93. It is the 8 o'clock hour, 8.06 to be exact. Now, DJ Katie Day, she would be the night girl here at uh, U93. Miss Shiana's sweetheart. Let's call her that. Okay, I like that. DJ Katie Day. I sat down with her and asked her some questions, some very important questions. And Jody is going to try to predict how DJ Katie Day answered these questions. Does Jody know her coworkers? That's what we're going to figure out. Why do we want to do this? Because I'm telling you, DJ Katie Day is entertaining. She's got some good answers, Jody. She is exciting. You're going to hear about it in six minutes. It is U93. Bayless and Jody. Mornings on U93. All right, Jody, let's find out if you know your coworkers. All right, let's do it. I'm right. ready. Wait, D- let me get my bell. Yeah, please. All right, DJ Katie Day. Let me tell you what I know about her. I know that I was here originally when she was hired. And she told me I trained her on the uh, the board. You just learned that like a day ago. I was very impressed that <laughs> she remembered. I just, I forgot. Trained a lot of people in my day, Jody. I can't keep track of all Look of them. Look at that. Making lasting impact. Can't keep track of all of them. But DJ Katie Day does an amazing job here on U93. She does the night show. 7 o'clock is when she comes in. Yes. And she's young, which is why this is going to be so entertaining, hopefully. She's hip. She's, <laughs> can't say hip. You know what I do know about DJ Katie Day? She's a boozer, you said? No, she's got some... Stop it. She's got some (laughs) great dance moves. That girl can dance. DJ Katie Day can dance, but um, I said she's a boozer because we just figured out she turned 21, and Jody said she knows that because she had a drink. Yep. She may have had one. All right, so here's what I did. I asked her questions. We believe uh, Katie is 21 years old, not 22. 21, so she's young. You Mm got to keep that in mind when I asked her these questions. The first question I asked her, Jody, and everybody, I want you to play along. And you text along, too. Let us know if you're getting them right or not. Okay. I asked DJ Katie from U93 Night Show, who went back to the future? That's all I said. I said, Katie, who went back to the future? Did she know the answer? Which is, I would have taken anything. I would have taken taken Marty McFly. I would have taken... Marty uh, and Doc? I would have taken Doc. I would have taken anybody because, I mean, Biff went back one time. I mean, in part two. So I would have taken anybody. Biff. Ugh. Did she know who went back to the future? I'm going to say yes. You're going to say yes. Here yep. we go. Phil, I think, went back to the future. Oh. Again, that was Phil. Phil? Who is Phil? Did she say Phil or Bill? She, oh, she, she said, said Phil. She said Phil. Listen. Phil, I think, went back to the future. Phil? It was Phil. It was. I had to edit that. Trust me. What she is said. she... I don't know what she was thinking. It doesn't matter. She got it wrong, so you uh, got it wrong. Katie, we're off to a bad start already. All right, now, the second question I asked DJ Katie okay. from U93 Night Show. Mm-hmm. I asked her, what does HBO stand for? Oh. And after we established, I was not talking about the periodic table of elements. <laughs> she, that's not even a thing. She fi- I know. She finally focused in on what I was talking about, the, the television <laughs> network HBO. So did she know what HBO stands for? Did she really think you were she, talking about the periodic? She, she was working hard on the B. Woo. She's like, I think B stands for beauty. No, Joe. No, 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 Katie. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so um, I, I, got her, I got her back to the question. So now, HBO, which the correct answer. Does she know? Is home box office. Oh. Did she know that? I'm going to say no. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, she did not know that. I one. don't either. Right, so you got one right. Okay, good. very good. One for one. All right, now let's I mean, see here. One for two. Yeah, you're. Ah, uh, uh, that was two. Okay. Who sings the song YMCA? Young I asked, men. Ba-da, ba-da, I asked ba-da, DJ Katie ba-da. from the Night Show who sings YMCA. Did she know? Who? The answer is the Village People. I'm. You know what? I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I can see how long her responses are. Uh huh. And I feel like this is a long response. Yeah. So I'm feeling like she's working through it. I'm going to say no. She does not know. And very good. You can see the audio. Yeah. And this is a little step into DJ Katie's head. Here we go. DJ Katie, who sings the song YMCA? The, uh, wait, wait. I am going to be upset if I don't get this. It's like the people. No, it's not the people. (sighs) We the people. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. That's the Constitution. <laughs> Is it we the people? You gotta stop. You, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta stop laughing over. You gotta let. Sorry. You gotta let the audio play. Okay, I'm sorry. Go. I'm gonna turn your I mic can't off. Help myself. I'm gonna turn your mic off. Go. All right. We the people. No, it's not. That's the Constitution. 
Is it We the People? <laughs> and then she sold herself on it. <laughs> and then I broke the news to her. No, it's not. But very good on the Constitution, hey, Katie. That's a win in my book. That, that's true. All right, that's yours. All right, let's do one more. And then we'll uh, we'll come back to it. But uh, right. how much was minimum wage when Bayless got his first job? Hmm. The correct answer, $4.25. Are you serious? <laughs> Dairy Queen, St. Louis, Missouri. I was 15 and a half. Holy bananas. Yeah, I was working in the kitchen. I, I, I was the cook. Most stressful job I ever had in my life, by the way. It was horrible. The orders just kept coming. I don't think I'd trust you to make me a burger. And then you clean the grill at the end of the night thinking, you know, you're done. And it's like at the end. And then they get this big order. Oh, it was horrible. I actually put my two-week notice in by writing it on a piece of paper and put it on my manager's desk. I was so mad one night. But back to Katie. Okay. Did she know the minimum wage was four twenty five when I first started? No. There's no way she knows this. All right, higher or lower? You know what? That's not fair. Higher or lower than four twenty-five? Did she think it was more or less? Um, I'm gonna say she probably thought more. Five, fifteen an hour. She was not right, but you are. Get her job. Yeah, yeah. Good so job. what? I got three so far. I've gotten three right. Yeah, you're doing good. You're doing three out of four. Doing very well. You've only missed one. Seventy-five percent. Let's see. Back to the DJ Katie Day game. After Sam Smith, it's you ninety-three. All right, back to the game. Okay. DJ Katie, I yep. invite you to hang out with DJ Katie Day every weeknight, 7 to midnight here on U93. She's a youngster. We, we call it, we call her Michiana's sweetheart. And we've been asking her questions just to get to know her. We want to make sure we know her, you know her from the morning show listeners. And more importantly, we want to know if Jody knows her co-worker. So I think you're pretty good. <laughs> she was just doing it because it's so much fun having Katie answer questions. But here's the next question I asked Katie. I asked Katie. And right now, how many of you got right? Three out of four. Three out of four. Not bad. Here we go. Question five. What sport did Pete Rose play? Does Katie know what sport Pete Rose played? The correct answer, Jody, I don't think you know. Uh, what? What play? What What he plays? Yeah. Baseball. Okay. You do know. Yeah. All right. What sport did Pete Rose play? Does Katie, or does Katie know? No. Pete Rose? Is that Pistol Pete? Basketball, I'm going to say. Is that Pistol Pete? No, it's not Pistol Pete. That's a win for me. Yeah, you got it right again. Who's Pistol Pete? Uh, basketball player. I don't hmm. know much about him. I think his last name is like Mal, Mal, Malvik or something. Hmm. I'm not a big basketball fan, but here we go. Okay. Next question. I'm ready. For dinner, would Jody, you, mm-hmm. rather have a T-bone steak or a cheeseburger? What did Katie say? For dinner, would you... Rather have a T-bone steak or a cheeseburger? What did Katie say? Uh, Katie's probably going to pick a steak, but she should know this answer. Here we go. Cheeseburger. You got it wrong. Ooh. Now let me, let me her. let me ask you: Why would you not want a T-bone steak? Me? Yeah. Do you yeah. Want me to tell you? Yeah. Why? Because I don't eat meat that is still currently on a bone, and I feel like I've shared this with Katie. I knew that. I asked Katie. I wanted to know. I okay. said, Katie, why? Why did you say, because she said cheeseburger, I was impressed, because like, oh, she knows. Yeah. So I said, Katie, why would Jody want a cheeseburger over a T-bone steak? Well, I feel like she gets cheeseburgers from McDonald's all the time. She always <laughs> talks about the quarter pounder and double cheese. She likes to get two slices of cheese. So I think that she would have a cheeseburger because she likes cheese. <laughs> Is there any truth to the cheese issue? <laughs> Well, she said quarter pounder, so that is not true. But she's it's the Big Mac, and she's correct. I My go-to order at McDonald's is a Big Mac, but they generally only put a cheese on the bottom patty. You got to get an extra <laughs> piece of cheese so it's on both patties. I'm telling you, go quarter pounder. It's so good. All right, here we go. Moving on. We got to move. Okay, go. I asked Katie, who's the 40th, who was the 40th president of the United States? Correct answer, Ronald Reagan. Did Katie know that? Mm. Oh, that's a tough one. I'm going to say yes. Yes? And I'll tell you what she did. She backtracked. I, I did not play, play this audio, but she did it great. She goes, okay, Trump was 45, 44 was Obama, and she got down to 40. God, was Reagan before him? She was at GW or GH. Was that a win for that's, me? That's a win. Yes. Very good. All right, next question. Do rapid fire on the rest of these. Um... Oh, I asked her to finish the movie quote. I did tell her. I said, this is a movie quote. I was like, finish it. Life is like a box of chocolates. Correct answer is, you never know what you're going to get. Did Katie know that? Um, yes. I said, Katie, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. 
Woo! Look at you knowing DJ Katie Day from United 3's Night Show. Um, I asked Katie, who's Notre Dame playing on Friday? Ooh. Uh, does she know? Is that what I'm supposed to yeah, guess? Did, uh, she, did she know they're playing Alabama? I mean, come on. This is the biggest news in town. She better. You better get this right, Katie. Uh, I really couldn't tell you. Yeah, yeah, I figured. She did not know. I figured. And finally, I added this one at the end. I asked DJ Katie Day. I said, if a plane crashes on the border of America and Canada, where do you bury the survivors? <laughs> What's the correct answer, Jody? What, what is it? Yeah. I don't know. Well, think about it. If a plane crashes on the border of America and Canada, where do you bury the survivors? Still don't know. Answer. I don't know. Answer. Where do you bury the survivors? <laughs> I, I don't know what you're... I don't know. If In a, the ground. Okay. Good answer. Here's Katie's. You don't bury the survivors. What do you, what do, you do? Leave them there? They're survivors, Jody. Oh, wow. Katie, you feel you better win, now? Katie. Katie, do you feel better? Huh? How about that? I didn't think Jody would fall for it. I fell for it. But there we go. Now we know DJ Katie Day a little bit better. Hang out with her every weeknight, 7 to midnight on U93.